Hey guys, I just wanted to really quickly show you how to use Poly 4 to create your own wardrobe. It's really easy, so you can um, navigate to polyvore.com and then just sign in either using your Facebook or Twitter account, account, super easy. So what you want to do once you're on here is click on create and it's just going to bring up a, a blank screen and there'll be a whole bunch of options on the right hand side. So you can actually not just do fashion, you can do home um, creations as well. So if you're looking to set up your own um, home office and stuff like that, there are some ideas that you can that you can create from there as well. So Polyboy is an awesome place to come and try and create your own sort of ideas and stuff like that. So I'm just going to create a quick um, outfit for you so you can get an idea of how you would go about doing that. So I'm a huge fan of jeans for working from home I, and you know they're super comfy. I don't always sit in my chair um, sort of in a normal way. I tend to sit with one leg crossed so jeans give me the ability to be able to do that whereas pants or a skirt is not necessarily always super comfy. So I'm going to start with the jeans area so super simple uh, you can look through as many jeans as you like or you can pop up here and type in jeans. So I'm going to go with uh, dark denim and see if that brings up a whole bunch of ideas, which it does. And you just grab whatever you like and I really like the look of this one here. So you, it's just a drag and drop type thing here. I always like to make the jeans pretty big. And then in terms of a top, I generally aim to go for something quite bright because I like lots of color. So you can choose, you can type something up in here or you can choose a color, which is what I'll do here. And I'm quite a fan of sort of um, peachy corally colors. So just quickly, just looking and you'll, it'll bring up pages and pages of different options and you just look through for something that you like. I quite the, like the look of this top here which is perfect as we're in the southern hemisphere, just sort of heading, heading into spring, summer down this way. So it's going to be perfect. So that's the denim and the top. And I'd probably go for some type of jacket. So you can also type just straight into the search button. You don't have to go and browse in all the different areas. So from here, I might just, just type in blazer and it'll bring up a whole bunch of different options. I quite like, um, you know, sort of neutral looking blazers. You want to keep those sorts of things pretty neutral. You don't want to go with too many out there colors. So something like this would work quite well, but I just, I don't like the slouchy sleeves. So I'm going to come up here and choose that type of color. If I go, that's probably a little bit too yellow. So maybe if I click on, yeah, that's a bit more the sort of colors I like. So I really like the look of this one. So again, it's just a case of dragging and drop. And I'm going to send this one backwards to sit behind. Just to give you a bit of an idea of how you sort of build on upon something. Do it from there, click back on fashion. And now I'm going to have a look at some shoes. I'm a big wedge fan. So while I might not necessarily wear my shoes around the house, I definitely tend to head out at least once a day just to get out of the office, go out for a couple of hours and work in a cafe or something like that. So this is when I would chuck my shoes on. At home, I'm generally walking around in my slippers. I know, super cute. <laughs> but let's just see. So from a wedge perspective, this is definitely my sort of go-to wedge that I would just, I love this type of shoe. And then I would probably add a bit of color in terms of jewelry just because that's just me and you can also add in a handbag or something like that. But I think from um, just a creating just an, an outfit, this is probably all that you'd need to do. But just for laughs, let's add some jewelry in there. So I'm going to go with earrings and I'd probably go with gold because that's just generally what I what I would wear. You know, it's super easy and you know, maybe a, a statement ring in that sort of peachy 
color as well. Let's see what comes up. Really like the florally. Let's see what's on the next page. This is perfect. Just ignore what I'm doing. I like to balance things out. And I probably will add in a handbag here. And I'm probably going to try and grab something in a similar color. And I'd probably go for a clutch. If I was just heading out. You just keep heading backwards until it all, it all sort of fits in and goes with how you look want. So you have a few different options in terms of how, um, whether there's a background or not. And so by default, it generally always goes with this one, which is there's no image background. However, the ring has still got like a little... Um, kind of shadow there. So I'm probably going to change that. So if I go back to here, actually it's not going to give me that option. So if I go back to jewelry and then I choose this again, I'm just going to delete that, delete this ring. There was another one that I saw before. That actually had a bit more color, so maybe I'll choose this one. Okay, move that one over there. So then, just to finish it off, I'd probably put a little um, frame around it. Just to bank it. Fun because the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this to my board on Pinterest so I've got it all in one place so I tend to go with a um, fairly bland board and again it's just a drag and you'd want to send this one behind everything so you just make it as big as you want it to Actually, that one's not a very good one. It's a little bit hard to kind of get one that doesn't take up too much space. Let's set it backwards and see what that looks like. And there you go, and then you would just go publish, give it a title, drove out fit for home. You can give it a, a description. I just generally put in what it is. And select a category fashion, and then you can share it, which I don't, and then you just hit publish. And then it's going to show you the actual board and it will actually give you the shopping options if you wanted to shop um, on from Polyboard you can. Um, sometimes it's a little expensive to do that so I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that each time but it gives you an idea of where you can go. So then it's just as simple as hitting pin it and then choosing the wardrobe. And then you are pretty much done. So I hope that just gives you a bit of an idea of how you can go about creating a whole bunch of different outfits. And then, you know, if you've saved them to Pinterest and you've got Pinterest on your smartphone when you go out, you can just refer back to those so that you know what you're shopping for when you're going to those department stores. So I hope that's helpful and I look forward to maybe hearing from you soon.